Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today I'm going to be talking about the flu and how, why it's important this year to get a flu shot. And also, how can you tell if it's the flu or COVID-19? So let's first by uh, doing a basic review of what is the flu. Well, the flu is caused by the flu virus, and that's the influenza virus, of which there are two types, type A and type B. Now, type A influenza virus is the one that causes pandemics. Now, the flu can cause mild to severe symptoms and at times lead to death. So the flu is nothing you want to just play around with. Now, the thing you have to remember about the flu viruses is that they change constantly. From year to year, these viruses mutate and they are constantly changing. And that's the reason why you can get the flu more than one time and why you need to get a flu vaccine every year to keep up with these evolving flu viruses. And what happens is because the virus mutates every year, you you basically don't build up any immunity to the flu because uh, your in, antibody system doesn't recognize these new flu viruses because they're different than the one your body may have been exposed to. So you can't prevent uh, sickness uh, from your immune system because your immune system may not recognize these new flu viruses and you can be susceptible to the flu year after year after year. Now, again, the flu can cause mild to severe illness, sometimes death, particularly the very young and the very old are much more prone to complications from the flu. The flu can come on suddenly. Some of the symptoms include fever or feeling feverish, having aches and chills, cough, sore throat, runny nose, muscle or body aches, headaches, fatigue, being tired, very tired. Some people may have vomiting and diarrhea. All this is more common in children. Now it's important to note that everybody with the flu does not have the same symptoms. And some people have the flu and don't have much fever at all. Now, 2020, the year we're in, this pandemic year, it will be interesting because COVID and the flu are very similar in terms of their symptoms and they're both respiratory viruses and the spread is uh, the same uh, and they're very contagious. Uh, but remember, there are two different viruses. COVID-19 is caused by the new coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2 and flu, as I've just said, is caused by these influenza viruses. So how will you know what you have? It, how, how will you be able to tell the difference? Well, you may not be able to, and that's why it'll be so important to have a relationship with a usual source of care, primary care doctor, because they may have to do a test. They may have to do a test to test you for the flu, which is a nasal swab, or a test to uh, test you for the coronavirus, which is also a nasal swab, and some of them are doing the oral uh, saliva swabs. Now, flu and COVID, again, share many symptoms but there are some key differences between the two. I want you to remember that COVID-19 is far more contagious because the infection period where people can be contagious is much longer than the flu. So people are infectious longer for COVID-19 and that's why it's more contagious because it can spread over a long period of time. That's one big difference. The other thing is how COVID-19 manifests itself. It can cause blood clots, dangerously uh, uh, life-threatening blood clots in the arteries and veins of the heart, lungs, the brain. And also in children, COVID-19 causes this multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children and adolescents. Another big important difference between the two is that FDA approved prescription drugs are available to treat the flu. And there are currently no drugs as of today, September 27th, uh, 2020. There are no drugs or no therapeutics that are approved by the FDA to prevent or treat COVID-19. There are some antiviral drugs like remdesivir that are being used under emergency use authorization, but they're not explicitly developed for anti-COVID-19. So this brings me back to the flu vaccine. Public health experts recommend that people, everyone, 
six months and older uh, get a flu shot this year. Now there are multiple FDA licensed uh, flu vaccines. There are at least three or four of them, three or four that are given via an injection, usually in the upper arm, and there's also a nasal spray. Now you have to ask your doctor about which flu vaccine is best for you. I know most of us just go and get whatever flu vaccine they're giving out. Uh, so again, uh, that's something to talk about with your doctor. Uh, now, remember, there's no vaccine for COVID-19. As of today, they are working on vaccine trials, but right now we don't have a vaccine to prevent COVID-19. So back to the flu shot, when should you get it? Well, remember that it takes about two weeks after vaccination for the flu shot to work because you have to build up antibodies in your system. So you wanna get your flu shot ahead of the time when flu starts appearing in your community. So the flu shot is available now. You can get it now. You can get it in early October. You can even get it as late as January but I recommend that you get your flu shot a little early to um, beat the spread of influenza virus in your community. Where do you get your flu shot? A lot of places offer flu shots. You can get them at your primary care doctor's office, most clinics, federally qualified health centers, the health department. Many people get their flu shots on their jobs. Some college health centers are giving out flu shots. And also pharmacies, your neighborhood pharmacy, be it Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, or any of the pharmacies. You may wanna check with them and many of them have signs on their door saying flu shots are available. And some of them are free and some of them you have to pay a low cost for. Again, you wanna check particularly if you're uninsured, but there are free flu shots that are available and you should try to make sure you get one. So remember it takes two weeks to develop antibodies and talk to your doctor about what flu shot is best for you. Now, I wanna address some common myths and some common questions about the flu vaccine. Question number one, does the flu vaccine protect you against the flu? Well, the truth is that may vary from season to season. And it also depends on your age and your health status because the flu vaccine has to be matched right to the viruses that are in the community. So that may impair some of the effectiveness of the flu shot. And then some people, their underlying health conditions just don't make the flu shot that effective. If you get the flu shot, next question, can you still get the flu? The answer is yes, because again, it takes two weeks to get antibodies to the shot. And if you already get the shot, uh, but you've just come down with the exposure to the virus. Uh, so you could have the flu and just haven't gotten the flu shot because you've just been exposed just before getting the vaccine. Because again, it takes two weeks to develop uh, activation of the immune system. Or again, the virus that's circulating in the community may not be the one that's in this year's flu shot. Question number three, can you get the flu from the flu shot? This is a common question that I was always asked. The answer is no, you cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine because the vaccine is made from inactivated or killed flu viruses. So you can't get the flu from the flu shot. And then last question I've heard, my blank could be your aunt, your grandmother, me, my relative, my friend, my coworker got the flu shot and ended up in the hospital. Now I'm not saying that's not common because it, it, everything is possible. Uh, Cause again, some people have underlying conditions that may have flared up that have nothing to do with the flu shot. But common side effects from the flu shot can include soreness and swelling where the shot was given in the arm, some people may have a slight headache or fever, muscle aches, nausea, or feel tired. Those are the more common side effects. But I can't say that, you know, you won't ever end up in the hospital, particularly depending on your underlying chronic conditions. So again, the key takeaway point is please consider getting your flu shot 
They're widely available. Uh, it's going to be hard to tell the flu from COVID-19 this fall and winter. Uh, the flu shot may help activate your immune system. And again, the best way uh, a, a flu shot won't prevent you from getting COVID-19. The best way to prevent COVID-19 is through social distancing, washing your hands, and wearing your mask when you leave home. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. I hope this has been helpful. And I hope that you'll get the flu shot this year. And please talk to your doctor about what flu shot is best for you. My views are my own. Stay safe and have a blessed day.